got to see, read this, haven't I? Unless you can do them for me. No, I bloody can't. You said you know how to put eyelashes on. You said everyone knows how to put eyelashes on. Well, everyone except me. <laughs> Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hey Spring Chicken, my name is Cordelia and I'm in my early 60s and I want to thank you, my subscribers and for those of you that are new, thank you and welcome. Today we're going to do a party look, the holiday look, the let's be a little bit glamorous look. A little bit of a step up from my normal look. I thought we'd do glamour. I thought we, because I'm, we want to go out as well, even though we're mature ladies, we still like to go out, we still like to have fun. And what prompted me to do it, particularly this week, well, A, we're going into December, but also I sent away um, for some Revolution eyeshadow products. Oh my word, these are beautiful. They are really lovely. So we're gonna have a go using them. I will use some of my other products as well, but follow me on the journey, see how I get this look, and I'll see you in a minute. So the next time you see me, I will be bare-faced, just a little bit of moisturizer on, but you'll see how we created this look. So here we are. I, I haven't got any makeup on at the moment with the exception of my tinted moisturizer. So that is on. We are now going to put on some primer. I'm going to use the MAC primer. The thing about what I want to say, the thing about Christmas look is I'm going to do a shimmery look. So everything I do today is going to have a hint of shimmer about it. It's just gonna elevate it from a normal day to day to an evening or a Christmas party. We all primer. This is just going to give my skin a little bit of hydration because it does get dry. I'm going to add the illuminating primer is just a L'Oreal, very simple, but it's got some iridescent look to it, which makes it interesting. I'm just going to add it on. As you can see, probably, you can see there is a hint of shine going on. That's an understatement. Foundation I'm going to use is um, an Elizabeth Arden. I have a video on this. I have. I, I did this a couple of months ago. Um, really like Elizabeth Arden. This is a um, quite a natural colour. Um, I, I tend to use one that's close to my skin, but you may want to use a slightly darker shade when you go out in the evening. Um, I tend not to. Put some primer on my lip before we started. The end. <laughs> So just keep blending. You can build on that. I love the Elizabeth Arden. It's it, it's such a blendable foundation. It is a matte foundation, so you may prefer, because I did say I wanted shimmer, but I like this one so much. I'm going to put some eye primer onto my eyes. And the reason I put primer on is it helps the, the eyeshadow stay that bit longer. So I'm just using an e.l.f. primer. Next product. Charlotte Tilbury, the retouchable. I'm going to just add a little bit to cover my dark circles. I'm just gonna dab it in here. The thing as you, you have to make the decision when you put on illuminator or concealer, it does cover the dark, dark circles, but there, it will illuminate and highlight the wrinkles. I have shown you a little trick that I use, but it still shows. So you have to make that decision. Here we go on the other side. It, it, when when you're younger, you can do that great big high that concealer highlighter look there. It, it doesn't look so good on me. I may look good on it, but we tend to find that with as you mature, as you as you get older, your skin just doesn't seem to react so well with with those sort of. Uh, TikTok, um, YouTube videos that they do where they do the beautiful contouring. I've tried that beautiful contouring and it just doesn't work for me. So this is the way that works for me. Next product, Longcom. <laughs> Longcom, Tienta Dill. Longcom. So I've got a couple of red spots covering them up. Next thing is I'm going to add a little, here we go my Diego de la Palma uh, 
fixing powder and I'm going to just add it on my eye first of all. Dab it off and just fix there. What it is, is it's drying the, the eyelids. So I'm putting, it's not so much a fixing powder, it's a translucent powder and it dries the eyes and it enables the, so it sets the primer and it will help the eyeshadow because we're going to do some glittery eyeshadow and um, you need to have a nice solid base. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. Um, I have done a bit. <laughs> oh my word! I'm going to slowly do my eyebrows. And this is what happens when you don't have your glasses on. You use the wrong end of the flipping thing. <laughs> Should have been using the spoolie. Oh God. Right. I have done a whole video doing my eyebrows. I was using the Benefit pen. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Really like this one. I ordered these two lovely Revolution. So not expensive. And I received them, I got them in the Black Friday, a Black Friday deal. And I think they were like about 11, 12 pound for the two of them. So really good value. Anyway, I'll show you them. Well, we're going to use one of them and add an additional extra. But, so this is one of the shimmery types of the eyeshadows. As you can see, some really great colors there, some really great pinks. And the one that we're going to use is this one. And this is a, what is called a night shimmer. And if you can see that, that one there, it's got like glitter bits in there. We will try and use it, but I may, I may, def I may find I can't because it's too glittery and it may not necessarily suit my skin. We're going to start with the base, which is that one, which is very, very shimmery. And we're going to take it right up to the eyebrow. Now, ordinarily, you can put this on last. I'm going to do three little or two little down there. God, that's bright. Wow. What do you reckon on that? <laughs> that one there. So I've got a little bit of MAC powder there on the back of my hand. I'm just going to dab it in. Ridiculously iridescent. I absolutely love it. Getting a really tiny little brush and I'm going to come down just to there in exact the same line just there I may put it on again after we've done the black liner but that's the effect that I want to create I'm going to use the lot the color down there just to give some definition to the bottom of the eye and to the top so giving the dark into the corners there and extending it out just makes the eyes that little bit bigger or look that little bit bigger. And as much as I'd like to, to have the nice cat look, I just can't do it uh, um, or it just doesn't suit me. The eyes drop and uh, it, it doesn't give the same effect. I just want it to be a, a, a glamorous look, but subtle and, and, and not try too much. So I'm just going over, as I, as I level them both up, I'm looking to see where I can add a little bit of extra depth. We may put some false eyelashes on, and in which case then going underneath the eyelashes isn't so essential, or going over isn't so essential, because they'll be covered by eyelashes. Bit of mascara now. So this is the eye, these are the eyes for now. May come back to it once I've done all the bronzers and contouring and have a look, see how it looks together. Now I'm going to use a, a, a little bit of a cheat thing. I'm just going to use a NYX crayon just down here. So I'm just starting to give a little bit of, of, of look to the face. I'm not going to do too much um, yet. And then I'm going to add a little bit of, um, I'm not because I can't get into it. I'm just going to add a little bit of shimmer here. A little bit of MAC bronzer here. Blusher. Blusher. It's not bronzer at all. MAC blusher. I'm going to do my favourite now. I absolutely love highlighter bronzer. <clears throat> it can absolutely change your face. <clears throat> my favourite is Lord & Berry. I did think about using a shimmer but I'm going to just for this use a powder 
and I just do like a big shade of Eve. And it may look too much during the day, but I'm assuming this look you're wearing or you're hoping to wear is going to be for the night. My next product is the highlighter and bronzer. And this is real shimmer. Just a little bit here on the forehead, down there. I also take it down my nose, which is a bit weird, but for now, finish with the face. We're gonna go on to the lips. Quick lip liner, love doing lip liner. It's really simple. It makes the lipsticks or the lip balms or whatever you're using last. The, the choice is this. Do you go for really bold, bright lips? I'm not going to. I like, I, I don't suit red uh, at all but I actually don't like having really bold lips. If I've, got, if I've got bright eyes and bold eyes, I tend to not have the two competing with each other, but that's a choice thing, that's mine. So I'm going to go with a fa my old favorite, a nude lip, a little bit of shine with my Studio 10. I'm going to outline them with white. It, it just makes the lips pop a little. At this point, I could really add on some gloss and really make my lips look nourished and lovely. But now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is tidy up my face, see if there's anything that's, because in this time there may have been a bit of spillage and I'm also going to fix it with some spray. So here we are at the moment. I haven't sprayed yet and there is a reason for that. I want to maybe elevate it a little bit more and we're going to put some fake eyelashes on. Again, I tend not to because of the glasses, but for this look, let's go with the fake eyelashes. I've got to see, read this, haven't I, Unless You can do them for me. No, I bloody can't. You said you know how to put eyelashes on. You said oh, everyone knows how to put eyelashes on. Well, everyone except me. <laughs> <laughs> no! And it's worse because I once I go here I can't see anything because I'm blind. I cannot see. That's it, that's it, that's it. You got it. I have not. So here I am. I'm ready to party. Since we've since the last bit, I've added on some eyelashes. And the eyelashes I used are Eyelure number 20. I'm not very good at putting them on, but I had a go. And uh, here they are. I'm quite pleased with this look. It's 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 sort of a, a little bit more than I would normally wear, but this, you saw me do it, and this is what I would wear. Um, some of the products I have and I love, and I really like the Revolution makeup that I used. It took a little bit longer than you, a normal makeover, but hey, we only get this sort of glam party time every now and again. It's worth making the effort. So I hope you like it. And if you made it this far, well, I'd like to thank you. What I would love to see is your comments below. I, I would love to see your look, your what you wear, or the, the, or the makeup that you go to, the, sh the shimmer, the shine, and even where you're going. I love reading the comments. So please, write below. So if you like this video, press the like button and press the subscribe. Our numbers are going up each week. I absolutely love it. I get so excited. I go in in the morning. I see the numbers have increased. Thank you. Thank you for all my existing subscribers and for the new ones. I thank you in advance. And if you ding the bell, that will alert you to content that we upload like this every single week. I just want to add, because I forgot to add earlier on, everything that I used is my, are my own products, I'm not sponsored by anyone. And in the description below, I will put everything that we used. I will add the links below. Some of them have affiliate links. So if you click purchase and buy, I will get a small commission, teeny weeny commission for which thank you. Come and say hi to me on my social media handles are below, Instagram, Pinterest, and I also have a website. Hey Spring Chicken. We do everything on there, not just beauty. I would love to say hello to you. Have fun. It's been a difficult year and getting out has been hard. So enjoy, enjoy the time you've got. Enjoy your family, enjoy wherever you're going and I will see you soon and thank you. That didn't quite make sense. No, it did not make any sense at all.